Congratulations to Sydney Olympic Park Authority for their project Sydney Olympic Park Disability Inclusion Engagement, winner of the Community Development Project category. Welcome to the Sri Lanka's Paralympic Sport in Sydney Olympic Park. This activation has been a result of a partnership between Sydney Olympic Park Authority, True Sports Events and a number of disability sports organisations that are based in Sydney Olympic Park. And hopefully people will not only be excited about Paralympic sport but also about disability inclusion. How do days like this create kind of more of an inclusive community within our community? Um, days like here that we have out at Sydney Olympic Park um, doing inclusion sports is a great way for the uh, local community to see what inclusion is all about. Hi there, I'm Louise Savage and very excited to be here today to see so many sports on offer for people with disabilities but for also for everyone else to come and enjoy it as well. Have a bit of a taste of what a lot of Paralympic and non-Paralympic athletes get up to. We've got the wheelchair rugby, we've got Little Athletics in New South Wales, the free throw challenge, bocce and wheelchair basketball. It's all happening here at Sydney Olympic Park. So activations today celebrating International Day of People with Disability are really important because they convert the non-converted, I guess, in regards to accessibility and inclusion and being aware of them. Today is really important uh, for the park. We're known as the sporting capital of Sydney and um, having inclusion sport as part of that is a really big deal. Mr. what does inclusion mean to you? Uh, I think everyone being involved and getting to have a go at things. The judges commented that this entry showed an effective demonstration of understanding and use of the IAP2 spectrum. The challenges faced were overcome with sensitivity and a creative approach.